Hello friends, I actually bought a new camera. This is the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II. For the longest time, I was actually using my Sony ZV-1. And I think it was time to upgrade. Um, for me, the ZV-1 was kind of limiting with its fixed lens. Well, actually, the zoom lens. But for this camera, this camera is interchangeable lens. For those that don't know, cameras that have interchangeable lenses comes in a body where you can actually change your lenses. You can actually buy different types of lenses. Um, you can buy prime lens, you can buy a zoom lens, and some other lenses that we're not going to talk about in this video. And yeah, that's the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II. This new camera is actually um, a successor to the original ZV-E10 and let's unbox it. Let's pretend I actually didn't open it yet. Um, I actually returned it in the box. <laughs> so for those who don't know, you get these. So you have the warranty, I think. In the box comes the camera which is covered in this tissue paper like um, packaging and carton yeah. <laughs> so there you have it this is a sony zv e10 mark ii i think it is a worth it upgrade i bought this for 60 thousand pesos uh, and if you wanted to straight to use straight payment in the credit card, you could actually get an additional three thousand pesos off. In the box comes the battery, and for the pre-ordering, I actually got another new battery. So I have two batteries of this Sony Z battery. And this is actually the same battery that they use in all the Sony full frame lenses. I mean, camera bodies. So, yeah. Uh, people that have the full frame cameras, you for sure have a lot of these. Um, in the box also comes the dead cat that you put in the camera in this paper packaging yeah there yeah you place it here in the camera here sideways because this camera has a three capsule mic which is i think good enough in a pinch but of course having a dedicated microphone is still a lot better but we'll try and see it also comes with the Sony strap. I think it's, I think this is the first Sony strap I actually have and I think I'm gonna use it. So there you have it. That is the unboxing. Um, I'll probably upload more videos regarding this camera. Uh, I bought this camera mainly because I wanted the ability to change lenses and I was I also wanted to shoot in 4k which the Sony ZV-E 10 could but not for a long time I think the max the Sony ZV-E 10 could last was around five minutes of 4k recording and it would overheat i certainly know this camera is a video first camera but i plan to shoot uh, photos as well i actually bought two lenses already to pair with this camera i decided to not buy the kit lens because i for sure wouldn't use it as much because 
the aperture is variable 3.5 to 5.6. I know people said that for a hundred dollars more you should get it but yeah I for sure wouldn't use it as much so I bought the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 aperture lens and the TT Artisans 27 millimeter 2.8 lens. So the footage you now are seeing is with the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II with no mic. So I'm trying the onboard mic and at the back if you can see I actually have my aircon open. So um, let us see if it can actually it will actually pick up the aircon noise because this three capsule mic is has or has AI um, I can actually select where the mic would capture audio I can select it from the front from the back and in auto actually have clicked it in front so you are hearing me with the onboard mic and this is the trusty ZVE ZV1 that I think I'm going to sell and yeah as you can see the camera footage right now is so um, buttery uh, the background here is very blurred because I have the 16 millimeter 1.4 and right now I am at 1.4 so you can't quite see the background here so yeah and with this new pickup I hope it takes less friction for me to create more videos and i hope i really hope it does and with that i'll see you all guys in the next one